Hi everybody, Maria here, and I wanted to share with you a journal I made, or picture book, or whatever somebody wants it to be. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, or who I'm going to give it to, but here it is. Um, I made it from the No Problema stack from Joann's now. So all the paper, with the exception of the dictionary paper, and the cardstock is from there. Um, all the paper's double-sided, that's from the No Problema stack, and it's super cute. It's fun, and it's uh, unique, and I like the the different colors in it that I'm not used to using and uh, it's super fun. So on the cover I used the paper and I used some stickles to uh, highlight some of it and some little flowers from uh, the Recollections uh, spring line that Michael's carrying now but they have some super fun bright colors in some of it. And I custom made uh, this elastic band for the front uh, to hold the book together and it's a little bit big right now but that's because I want whoever gets it to have room to grow in it. Okay, so let me just pull that off. And that's just attached with some brads right here on the back. Okay, so there's the cover. That's the back of the cover with some cactus. And this is the uh, binding. And it's about an inch and a quarter. And there we go. So the inside is this. And um, use the Tim Holtz rings to bind it. And here's the first page. Now I used, I made some homemade ring enforcers uh, out of craft paper for all the pages so that they, if, with the wear and tear, it wouldn't tear easily. And here's the first page. And then I used a pocket here that I made and this has some cute little cactus print on it. Sorry if I'm blinding you with the glare. And then over here, I've got some of the cut aparts. And I like these cut aparts a lot because they are double-sided. So whoever uses this can journal on them and glue them and paste them where they want or put them back in the pocket. They could put photos here. They could journal here or put photos here. I'm having to film on the in a weird way because I can't film it two, two times the same way because of how things are. I don't, I don't have a dedicated setup for filming, but I do get to have them for scrapbooking and crafting, so I'm grateful for that. Okay, this is an acetate sheet, and um, I have it covered right now until I give it away so that it won't get scratched and stuff. And that's in there. Some more of the llama. Sorry, I'm yawning. I'm so exhausted today. This is uh, some more craft paper. And this is double-sided with that. There we go. This is some dictionary paper. And I just sprayed it to match the colors of the collection. Some cactus paper. Okay, I just love the colors in the stack. And... You know, you can write on the lighter pages, you can put pictures or memorabilia on the darker pages. This has got like a belly band going this way and it can move back and forth so they can take it off and use it on this page or a different page. Put whatever they want there. This is a tabbed page that I used my, uh, who was it? We Are Memory Keepers tab punch board. Okay, another craft sheet. Another beautiful purple foil cactus page. More dictionary paper. Okay, I did some die cutting for my silhouette cameo. And I uh, adhered it very delicately. Excuse the yawning. Wow. And I put some more of these cute little flowers on. Now the reason I put it on so gingerly is because if the person doesn't want it on this page, they could take it off, put it on another page, or if they want to tuck things under it, they can glue it the way they want. All right. Just some more yummies in this collection. Okay, now here's a llama that I die cut and did the same thing with. I love that little llama. He's cute. And another tab page and you can you know you can move things around that's why I like the ring binding system because they can move it around where they want how they want okay this is a little pocket I made and here are some more of the cards here comes the fun smile and be yourself another one of these pages Okay, and another cactus over here that can be moved. And you'll see repeats of the patterns. There's about maybe six to eight different patterns. And here's another um, tab page. I love this yellow and purple and blue page. And some more of these cut up parts. And another pocket page here. Another cactus that can be moved. Sorry if I move the camera. Okay, this page has um, paper clips on it that I made. And this is just like a kind of sort of pocket. It comes apart like this, and these are the paper clips. Okay, here's the first one. These two are the same, except for the prints, and I finished, you know, they're, they're double-sided, but I finished it on the back with a 
piece of felt so it doesn't look funky monkey and they're all glittered up here's a llama he is super 3d he's heavy and fun sorry for the glare there they are all laminated so that they won't get you know bent easily okay I'll put those back in a minute then I have a pocket back here that's velcro and in that pocket I included sorry for the arm some um, frames that I die cut um, with my We Are Memory Keepers new frame punch board. These are all also double sided. So whoever has it can use whichever side they like to match. Oh, and this one I put some stickers of um, different cactus plants. And then here's some more of those cards. Como se llama? That's funny. <laughs> and then I put, I want to say it's 10 or 12 each of these sheets of paper. This is just copy paper. And this is the matching craft card stock in there so that they can either mount pictures or do journaling or put, put whatever they want on the pages. And that is it. That is the book that I made. And I really like how it came out. I also reinforced the corners uh, with photo corners that are metal so that it can take some of the wear and tear. And I really love how it came out. I think it's about six by eight. Anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.